Hi, my name is Jerome Coley. I am the driver for the RAP program. I am also a fisherman, hunter, and I am originally from North Florida, Palatka, Florida, a small town out of Jacksonville, Florida. And I moved from there in 1980 to West Palm Beach, Florida. And I met a few guys who loved to fish and hunt. And they took me on a gator hunt and I enjoyed it. And since then, I just been, I had love to hunt gators, whatever I can get, any wildlife. And it's just an experience that you need. You, you, when you get older, you can try it. I wouldn't advise you to do it as a young child, but fishing is great for young kids and adults who don't know how to fish. And I will teach you if you really want to learn how to fish. So one of the things I'm gonna show you is the rod that I use. This is a Xanity XL speed stick that I got from Walmart. And it's a medium light rod. And these are my lures that I normally fish with salt water for sheephead, flounder, trout, uh, puffer fish. And last week, a couple of weeks ago, I was downtown and I ended up catching a shark, but I wasn't able to bring it in. But the good thing about that is I had fun doing it, enjoyed doing it. So when the pandemic is over, the COVID is over, I want to show the kids or take the kids to Greenfield Lake and we will, I will teach them how to cast. I will teach them how to throw a cast net. I will show them how to rig up the fishing line like I am gonna show you today. So I have a two-aught hook two odd hook, swivel, and a half a ounce lead on a 20 pound leader. This is 17 pound test line. And I usually catch sheephead drums, black drum, trout, puffer fish, and also fish in the surf with this. I Love to hunt, love to hunt. Uh, a lot of guys pick on me about the things that I love to eat, but it's okay because I'm still here. So I eat rattlesnake, turtle, coon, uh, gator. I tried possum one time, but I was little. But the good thing about it, I'm still here. And I just love eating, eating exotic foods. It doesn't matter what, I'll try something one time. And um, I wanna try the frog legs, but I'm scared of them, but I will try something one time. So um, before is the rap program, I am, the, I am the driver of the rap program and I take my safety really, really serious when it comes to the kids. I don't believe uh, in them talking too loud. I don't like that. I don't like them standing up or switching seats on the bus. So I am very, very protective of your kids. I would love them like if they were my own kids. So when the rap program opened back up, and we get time to go fishing. I'm ready to take you guys fishing, so be ready. I got enough fishing rods to take you guys whenever you're ready to go fishing. And I will teach you. I will teach you, and you will have a great time. And I'm not the type that's going to be like, no, no, don't do it that way. Don't Do what you know how to do. I'm going to show you, and you keep practicing. You will get it just like I had to get it when I was younger. I used to fish with a stick and a hook find me old rubber cork, put it on there, and fish. Yeah, got in trouble for doing it because I didn't go to school, but hey, 
you know, with my dad teaching me and me going out on my own, that's how I learned how to fish, and I enjoy each and every day of it. And I just love fishing and hunting. Fishing is relaxing. Uh, it is uh, it's a learning experience as well. So once you learn how to fish, like I said, it's, it relaxes me when I go. It takes everything bad and negative away from me because I'm focusing on what I'm trying to catch. I love cooking fresh fish. Matter of fact, I have a big flounder in my deep freezer right now that I need to go home and clean, but <laughs> it's frozen. So today, after I get done, I am going fishing to relax because um, it's something I want to do. You know, I want to be able to throw throw my cast net and uh, practice with it while I'm out there. And uh, if any kids want to come up there, have your parents to bring you up there, and I can show you how to throw a cast net. Uh, it's all in practice. Practice make perfect. And in order to learn how to throw, you got to come and learn how to throw it. So it's, it's, it's complicated at first, I'm not going to lie. But once you get it, it is on point. You will be on point with it because I had to learn. I taught myself and I also watch videos first and then I taught myself and I got it. Went to the state park in Carolina Beach and the kids had a great time. Uh, had the girls catching fish. I think the girls I caught, that, the boys that day. And one girl caught a nice, a nice fish and she was happy and laughing. Everybody had fun that day. And it was just, to me, it made my day and I know it made Mr. Dockery day for the kids to come out and go fishing with us. Yes, it was a little cool, but they had fun. That's all that mattered to me because they had fun and I had enough fishing rods for each, you know, each, each one of them to use. So that's, to me, that's what makes me proud to see a smile on a kid's face when I can take them fishing. Learning can be fun in fishing hunting, uh, cleaning the fish, cleaning whatever you hunt for is fun. I taught my nephew how to fillet a flounder a couple of years back. I taught him how to do that. I taught him how to clean and must deer meat. And it's, he, he, he know how to do it now. And the whole thing, he was smiling. Okay, Uncle Jerome, I know how to do it now. So I will teach you and how to clean the fish, catch the fish, clean the fish, and cook the fish, and season it too. There's nothing better than fresh cooked fish you caught yourself on some toasted bread.